Good morning, Jack here. I made a Newman motor so that um, since I hadn't made one before and the beauty of the Newman motor is there is no electronics needed uh, whatsoever, just a uh, magnet, coil, voltage source. So we'll turn on the Newman motor here and uh, get it fired up. So there's a commutator. And the I'm adding a light bulb, charge up a light bulb. That uses about six watts. And it's a pretty primitive uh, commutator. It's just a stainless steel shaft, so the contact goes right there through there. It makes and breaks right there. That's the switch. If you want to use the charge function, you can charge um, capacitors, lights, and so forth. But um, here, if I turn off the light, it'll sustain a 12 or 13 volts on the charge, and the back spike will uh, charge up to uh, probably 50, 60, maybe 100 volts eventually um, with the back spike energy. And then if you disconnect the charger altogether, uh, you can see the uh, neon. Uh, for the Bedini back spike. All right, well, that's it. I wanted to show you that real quick, and um, I'll take the power off here, and we'll show you a diagram here so people want to make this. It's very simple. You can, uh, here's the overall thing that I have here. The 12 volts comes in, goes through the coil, goes through the shaft, uh, to the commutator, commutator makes and breaks, and so there's no electronic components whatsoever needed, uh, unless you want to add uh, the charger, which is a diode and a capacitor, a light bulb, and you can exploit. So it's a way to exploit and build this thing uh, very easily for people that want to experiment with the uh, Bedini back spike type thing without having to buy very much or worry about the electronics and uh, give you one more shot of the coil here. This is the, uh, the dog saver uh, geometry. Okay, thanks a lot. This is Jack.